Hey guys, Fire here from End Up Gaming, bringing you another game review. This time we're checking out Circuit Superstars Top Gear Time Attack. This game is developed by Original Fire Games, published by Square Enix Collective, and released on October 12, 2021, for a price of $19.99. This is an arcade racing top-down style game, so much like your old-school racing games you might have seen in the, you know, 70s, 90s, early 2000s, and arcades, which... Sadly to say, are quite few and far between. The game features multiple game modes. You'll have a Grand Prix where you can select different Grand Prix areas and race for different titles, all the way from Amateur to Superstar, which will give you varying levels of difficulty where you might be required to do pitting, damage on your tires, everything. Free play where you can custom make and create racers. Online multiplayer, which I know we're about a week after launch, and honestly, there's not a lot of people playing this game. Maybe it's the price point, I don't know, but it is kind of hard to find races, and it's kind of sad to see when a lot of achievements are tied to winning online races and online time trials. There's time trials that you can participate, Top Gear, um, kind of, you know, point to point, like, time trials. Um, there's Garage, where you can edit your cars and driver. It's mainly just cosmetic editing. You don't really get to do much more beyond just, like, changing the colors. You don't really get to tweak or tune anything, which is kind of unfortunate, but you can change the way your guys looks. You can watch replays of your races, and then there's just basic control settings that most games have, as well as credits for the developers. But let's stop talking about the game, and let's dive a little bit into it. So we're going to set up a race here, and I just want you guys to be able to see kind of how the game works. We'll pop in full racers. We'll do a few laps each. Um, we'll even have qualifying. Let's, let's just do that once. And then we'll go ahead and dive in. Let's try... Uh, let's try Magdalena. It's a fun little track. Um, as you can see, there's a couple little icons in the top left while we're loading in here, while the game's waiting to get us going. Um, there's a gas meter for your fuel, tire damage, and then overall vehicle damage. And you're going to manage that while playing by using the pits. The game has a full pit system, as well as what you're about to see us start into is qualifying. You actually have to earn the right to place in a certain position. When you're doing qualifying, the game sets up all the drivers on the track, but it's kind of a ghosted system, so you can run through their uh, other cars while they can do the same to you, and you're just going to kind of run around. The game does have penalty features, so if you uh, cross certain poles or hit certain areas when you shouldn't, you will be penalized, which is usually like a one to two second penalty while you're driving around the track. And then while you're actually in the race itself, you're going to have full collision and everything. You're going to have to really maintain and be careful of everybody in your surroundings while you're playing. So it definitely does make it quite challenging. Uh, controls for the game can be a little difficult to learn if you're not used to it. I personally prefer to drive where I do a feather, kind of feather the gas and hit my brake. As you can see here, I just hit the walls. So I'm probably not going to get a very good qualifying time unless other people are just doing absolutely atrocious. Um, but yeah, the difficulty levels for this game are quite brutal. Amateur is pretty easy for you to get most of the achievements for winning the tournaments, but it's going to quickly ramp up and increase as you play. Looks like we uh, qualified last on this race here, unfortunately, so we will try to race out a couple laps so you can see the game. Uh, handling the cars handle really well for being very micro scale. It almost feels like you're playing with micro machines with a controller, so it's definitely an interesting take. And, you know, while you are playing from this, the game is actually pretty serious. Like, your cars are going to handle fairly well, collisions are going to be very important, and you're going to have to very carefully watch everything you're doing in the game while you're trying to play. As far as achievements and durations of the game, the game does encourage you to play the game quite a bit, as there is an achievement for going 50,000 kilometers, and your average race is only going to be just a handful of kilometers, so it does get rather challenging um, while you're playing there, and you will have to spend a lot of time. So if you are a completion out there, completionist out there, please note that this is probably not the game for you if you're looking for something that's going to be quick and easy to do. But if you do want a hard, challenging game, trying to beat this game on all the like pro, professional difficulty levels is quite difficult. As you can see here, we're struggling to just get into the top 10 of 12 cars, and about to be last place here unless we can just bully this guy out of our way. Um, and, you know, it's pretty much the gist of how the game works. Let's drive into pit lane here so you can kind of see how that experience goes. Um, you have to actually drive into your pit stalls and set everything up. Your guys are going to sit and run their little animation, change your tires, fuel, and health, and then let you speed right on out. And it's very realistic in what it does, and I do think it's quite nice. Um, you get constant time updates, constant lap updates, and you're just going to consistently be you know, feeling like you're in a real race car. It has a lot of things that I think most, 
you know, big triple-A, double-A title games. I am absolutely horrible wrecking and talking. Um, that they don't even have when you're playing, and I do think that that's definitely a big miss out there, that a little game like this can manage to pick up such, you know, crazy good details that a lot of the big guys, you know, big studios don't even get to do. Visually, this game looks great. Um, you're not going to have a whole heck of a lot to really complain about aesthetic-wise, outside of just how bad I am at driving in this game. Um, and, you know, the music that goes along with it, you do feel like you're just racing with the cars in here, everything going on really the way it should be. You feel really immersed in such a small package of a game. The only real downsides I have to this game is it can be a little hard on the learning curve with really figuring out what to do and how to play in the game. Um, I wish that they would give you a little more of a tutorialized system for new players, um, but I'm not going to make you guys sit and be uh, punished watching me kind of struggle here on this difficulty levels that I'm not really used to playing. Um, overall though, like I said, those achievements where we were talking about some of them being extremely brutal, you do need to win all the series, play like 100 plus races. You know, this is that big one, that drive 50,000 kilometers. I think somebody timed it out where you'd have to do one track on 50 laps like well over a thousand times. It's gonna take you a long, long time to get this. Surprise, somebody already has it. So my guess is they probably know lifed it and probably had the game a little early, which, you know, some of us actually were able to get the game pretty early. Um, the game does allow you to do some changes though in the controls to help make it a little easier on you. But outside of that, it's not really much to go on. I would recommend if you're going to first play out in the game, stick to that amateur level. It's really going to be easy for you. And what I do enjoy the most about the game is the wide variety of vehicles. You're going to get basic cars down to, you know, racing semis, stock cars, off-road trucks. It really is a giant gambit of vehicles, and I really love that about this game. Down to some, like, crazy high-performance race cars, which is definitely pretty cool to see in a small package like this. As far as giving my opinion on the game, it does come in at a $20 price point, like I said. Um, if I had to do any recommendations, if I'm going to say buy, sale, or pass, I think it's worth buying if you have the note that there's not many people that are going to play this game online with you, because I don't think there's just many people that have picked it up. So if you're looking for an online-style game, you know, probably pass, but I definitely think it's worth buying for $20, because what's here, there is quite a bit to do, a wide variety of tracks, some of them do get recycled, but you do get to do both, you know, kind of directions and customization, and if you've got some friends to play with, it's definitely a fun game. Outside of that, if you guys have any questions about the game, let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys did enjoy our review. If you want to see more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and we'll catch you next time.